All right, I'm serious here. I want you to stop trying to do it all. Not because you can't, not because you're not amazing, but because trying to do it all and pushing past closing energy with your internal guidance system means that what you're trying to do does not need to be done, does not need to be done now, or does not need to be done by you. (laughs) This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous woman you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that allow you to go from stressing out to in the flow. Flow meaning light, open, and wise. I'm your host, Zen Cryer to Brooke, stress as guidance expert. You know how you have this amazing idea of what you're going to get done in your head and you go about starting to do it during your day? And then things start taking longer or someone needs you and you have to stop doing what you're doing and, you, and, and it takes up part of your time. Or, or maybe you are like really starting to get stressed out because as much as you're trying to get done, you just can't seem to know that you're going to be able to get it all done in time. Well, this is the thing that I want you to know. In using your internal guidance system, and if you don't know what your internal guidance system is, folks, go to zeninamoment.com, and I have a video there that will explain it to you and have you feel it for yourself. It's something that you were born with. Your internal guidance system is closed when you're stressed out. And so here's why it's really important about your to-do list and you trying to do it all. If you can do it all, you will be relaxed, happy, open, and feel great throughout the whole process. However, if at any time, any time during your checking off your list of getting things done, you start getting stressed out, okay? This happens for me, for instance, right before I go on a long trip or a vacation. I try to get every single thing done that needs to get done. I know a lot of people that do this. So it's stuff that does not need to get done before I leave for vacation, but I want to get it done so that when I come back, I can extend my vacation energy as long as I can. You know what I mean? So like that pile of laundry that has been sitting there forever, or maybe it's washing particular parts of my home that I have not had a chance to wash, but I want to get it washed. Or it could be (laughs) one time it was taking all these disposable cameras that I had in a bag for years, getting them down to the place so that I could get them done before we went on vacation, crazy stuff comes to mind in my list of things I want to get done, organizing things that don't need to be organized. Well, what inevitably happens and what I've learned is I can make that awesome list and sometimes it'll all get done and I just feel like a million bucks. And then sometimes it will be the torture of my life. It'll be the thing that causes my husband and I to fight the most because I am struggling and pushing through trying to get this stuff done, which he doesn't understand, right? (laughs) And Every time I have a problem or a challenge, I become weirder and weirder or bitchier and bitchier or more controlling and more demanding. And that's when I have to stop and check myself because I'm closed. That means what I'm thinking is not true or not going to happen. And that's when I do this simple exercise. And you can do it any time in your life. Write out everything that you feel you need to get done in a list. Stop, drop into your listening, which means feeling your feet and your hands and listening to the room around you. If you have not heard the Drop Into Your Listening podcast, look it up on our site. You can search for it. It's a really important, great one. Drop into your listening and go through each of your items and see, do you get an open, which means a light feeling? Do you get a closed, which means a tight, sick, you know, claustrophobic feeling in the center of your body? Or do you get a neutral? And my recommendation is, is that you put a little O for open, C for closed, or N for neutral. Anything that closes you, anything that causes a tightness, anything that causes stress, anxiety, worry, fear, irritation, frustration, it's not to be done, at least not now. Seriously, cross it off your list. It is not something that needs to be done. Every time I've pushed through a closing to get something done on my list when I didn't need to be done, either it was a waste of time, I had to redo it, because I didn't have all the information or things that I needed in order to do it well. Or it was a waste of energy. I did it, and then we had to rip it out or change it, and I wish I hadn't done it at all. One time I had, I pushed through getting my taxes done, and then two two 1099s I forgot about came through, and I had to redo my taxes. Bummer. Or it's not mine to be done. I'm not the best person to do it, or somebody else needs to do it. This falls in alignment with being able to ask for support or help. Hey, honey, can you look at my list? Is there a couple things you would be willing to do on this to help me out? Usually my husband jumps in and says, yes, I'll do this and this, and also says, I'm glad you're asking me to do this. This is for me to do. I don't want you doing this. And I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that. 
great, do it. Or the timing isn't right, or, or, or it's not something that needs to be done at all. Like, really, literally, I find out that it doesn't need to be done. I would have been totally wasting my time. Whenever you are stressed out about the things in your life that you are not getting done, whether they be on a list, whether they be bigger things such as exercising or uh, eating better or people that you're not in contact with, right? You're stressed out because you're not calling someone enough. You haven't gotten down to see them or visit them. Maybe it's a new thing in your career your mind's telling you you need to be doing, focusing on getting new training. Uh, Maybe it's networking, connections that you're doing. Anything that's in your life that you have in your head that you need to be doing in order for you to be a successful, amazing, extraordinary woman that causes you stress, anxiety, worry, frustration, or overwhelm is not actually something you should be focused on or doing. You need to let it go because it's closing. Those are closing sensations, which means what you're thinking is not true or shouldn't be happening. Now, when you clear out all these things that are closing to you, you actually will have things come in that open you, meaning you feel a light, expanded feeling at doing them, Even crazy things that you think you would not want to be doing will show up as an opening and you'll be glad to be doing them, whether it be showing up for a networking group that's on a monthly basis and you feel open at going even when you're exhausted and leaving work. You think, I don't want to go tonight and you're like closed. Then you feel like, maybe I do want to go. Really? I want to go. And you feel an opening. You go and you just have the best time, meet the right people and are so grateful you went. What happens is, is when you stop trying to do it all, meaning things that close you, and you only do the things that open you and bring you a lightness of spirit and pleasure, everything that is actually yours in your unique life, your unique purpose, with your unique goals, begins to happen. I promise. And in trying to do it all, what happens is is you're taking up all kinds of space that is sucking the energy out of you, and it's super important that you don't try to do it all. You only do what's right for you. You only do what is expanding you, and you can feel it energetically. You become a happier, nicer, less controlling, (laughs) more effective person. Let me tell you, I get people telling me all the time they don't know how I get all the stuff done that I get done. And it's because I follow my openings and I do the things that I know are mine to do that are right for me and unique for me. All right, so check out zeninamoment.com. I have tons of resources there. I have courses that have live coaching where I can walk you through how to use your internal guidance system in numerous situations and help help you to become an extraordinary, centered, feminine leader in your life. All right, I am so grateful for you checking out this podcast. Please spread the word. If you know someone else that could use this information to help uplift them and have them have a happy, incredible life that's in the flow where they're feeling light, open, and wise, spread it along. Spread the word. I need the support. I think this information is incredibly important, and I really could use your help. All right, until I get the opportunity to meet you or you get a chance to listen again, remember, I am sending you love and blessings.